Cybersecurity cannot be approached as business as usual. Cybersecurity is a problem without a solution. An intelligent cyber policy prescription is needed. The evidence of government IT failure lies in its continuing string of cybersecurity failures. If an agency can't afford to lose the data, it shouldn't put it on the internet. Here are some of the reasons. The state of cybersecurity is dire. Cybersecurity is a problem without a solution. Cybersecurity is an intractable challenge. Cyber defense measures in use today are like shoveling sand against the tide. When it comes to cybersecurity, hope is not a strategy in using the internet. Cybersecurity cannot be approached as business as usual. There is no unified theory of cybersecurity. Without a unified theory, there can be no experts, no predictability, and no certainty. In such a situation, risk management is a charade, and then there are the emperor's new clothes. Without a strategy, unified theory, experts, predictability, certainty, and effective risk management, there can be no continuous improvement path. In the cybersecurity marketplace, selling the problem has become the preferred approach because there is no convincing cyber solution to sell. Without effective engineering, management, or process solutions, we need to look elsewhere for answers, specifically policy. Today we are left with chaos and no safe harbor in using the internet. In cybersecurity, the only safe harbor lies in not using the Internet. Intelligent policy is all about setting expectations that motivate behaviors that achieve consequential results. The cyber policy prescription is, if you can't afford to lose the data, don't put it on the Internet. The intended outcome sought is, avoid unaffordable loss of data. I have heard the voices from the trenches where chaos reigns and have spoken truth to power in both my application to join the Trump transition team and my comments to the White House Cybersecurity Commission on this important subject. In a world where business questions masquerade as technical questions, where programmers must experience an epiphany before they are motivated to master the skill of writing secure code, and where bonuses must be withheld to obtain management attention to security, resistance rules. If these are the risks, what are the outcomes? Acquirers complain they don't know how to ask for secure code from vendors adding that they get what they ask for, but not what they want. It's complicated. Programmers confess that writing code is hard, and writing secure code may be beyond the tipping point. Software engineers wonder if there are any secure code anywhere, and assert that best practices are insufficient. Supply chain risk management software assurance practitioners retreat behind the wall and only hope for bug-free, patchable software deliveries accompanied by a bill of materials. These are just some of the comments made at the 2016 CERT Secure Coding Symposium conducted by the Software Engineering Institute in Arlington, Virginia on September 8, 2016. Looking forward, Operation Cyber Pullback, with its cyber intelligent middleman, serving as the gatekeeper of cybersecurity expectation for an organization, points the way uh, forward to realistic, eyes wide open internet use. In dealing with senior management as the point person for rolling out the cybersecurity policy prescription, the well groomed cyber intelligent middlemen must possess the broad range of hard and soft skills uh, spanning the cultural, ethical, legal, business, process, 
management, and engineering dimensions needed to meet the challenges of cybersecurity in the organization and sector. And in anticipating, avoiding, minimizing, withstanding, and recovering from cross-cutting effects and to impede the emergence of propagating and cascading effects. Here's my contact information. I would be happy to receive questions and have discussions with people on this important subject.